Hello my friends, Adobe released their new Lightroom Classic 2023 with major new features and powerful new AI masking. This is such a good improvement. I am completely loving the new masking and I cannot wait to show you. So let's choose, uh, I will start with this image. Now to get to our new masking tools, you go just like usual here into the masking icon. And here you see we have select subject, select sky and select background. Now we already did have select subject and sky in the previous version, but now we can select the background as well. What else is new? If you look here on the bottom, you see it detected the person. If I hover over it, you will see the mask of it. Now, if you have an image with two people in it, for example, here, and you go into masking, you will see it will detect two people. And I can select both of them at the same time, or I can select one, and then I can go and add and select the second one if I need it, or I can just edit one and then go edit the other one separately. But back to our first image. Not only that it detects the person, but now when you click on the person and select it, it opens up a whole new uh, masking tools. This is a face, the skin on the face. We have the body skin, we have eyebrows, we have the whites of the eye, we have the iris and pupil, we have lips, teeth and hair. And this is so, so helpful because it could really speed up your process. Now you can just maybe click one of those if you just want to, you know, adjust the skin on the face. Or you might want to select all of them. This is what I would do if I would edit this image. And then just go to create, I will click the create eight separate masks because I want a mask for each one of those. And just go to create mask. And now all those masks are here. Nothing is happening to the image yet because we didn't adjust any of this. And then I can go on each one individually like this one, as you can see, is the skin on the face. And I can maybe reduce the texture a little bit to soften the skin. And then I'll move into the next one is the skin on the body. I want to match that one because they should be the same. So I'd soften that a little bit too. The skin on the face, it's also a little bit bright. So I can go back into the skin on the face and maybe just take it down just a touch. Not too much, maybe like that. Then we can move into the next one, the eyebrows. If I want, I can just darken the eyebrows a little bit. Moving on, this is the whites of the eye. To make those wider, you do not want to increase the exposure because that just makes it look alien-like. What you want to do is take the saturation down and that will whiten it. Then the next one, it's the um, iris, the pupil. To make those pop, I will up the shadows. So you see that just brings so a little bit more detail. I can even add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of saturation. Going up into the masks, now we have lips. We can maybe decrease the exposure or maybe even increase some saturation to make them more red. And then let's see, we have teeth for those. We have to desaturate to get them wider. She already has very white teeth, but you see, you can get them even wider. And then for the hair, let's say we want to increase the shadows a little bit to bring in more detail and maybe even take down the texture just to make it appear a little bit smoother and healthier. So there you go, just like that, we changed this photo. Now look at it, I feel like the face could be a little bit brighter. We darken it and I think it looked better before, something like that. So we took this image from this onto this with just this AI masking. And now, like I said, you can go and create a new mask and now we can, let's say, select the background. And what if we want to add a little bit of color in the background, we'll just bring the white balance towards blue. And now our background is more blue. We can add a little bit of green if we want it to be mint color. And you get the idea. I am gonna do one more example and then I will show you what else is new because there's other tools as well. Let's take this example and here I'll go to person and I will choose the person. Just like before, I will select all this masking because I want to work with all these areas and I will go to create mask. So let's start from the beginning, the skin on the face. I will take the texture down. Actually, I don't want to smoothen his skin because he is a male, 
But what I will do is just bring maybe the exposure a little bit down, just a little bit like that. The skin on the neck, I'll bring that one down maybe a little bit more just to create kind of a shape like a shadow. And then the eyebrows, I will bring them down a little bit, create more depth. You see? Something like that. The whites on the eye, I will desaturate. Moving on, I will re I will up the shadows and the eye to bring some more details in there. And I will add clarity and saturation. Then moving on on the lips, maybe I'll just darken a little bit. I do not want to add saturation. We don't want to make him look like he has lipstick on. And then what else is here? This is for the teeth. Well, his mouth is closed, so we do not see those. And then just like before, we can go and select the background. And now maybe we want to darken the background a little bit just to give it more depth. Maybe we even want to blur it. So let's go take texture down, maybe take the clarity down a little bit. And just like that, we transform this image from this to this, before and after. So let's see what else is new. The other new thing into this new version of uh, Lightroom Classic, it sits right here where is the healing and uh, clone stamp tool. And it's this one over here. I don't know what it's called. It just looks like an eraser. So let's say we want to erase this pair of sunglasses. What you will do is you click on that tool and then you kind of just draw around it to make a selection of whatever you're trying to erase. You could make the brush bigger. I should have done that. I didn't do it. So we'll just work with this. So this is like a content aware fill. And then when I let go, there you go. It removes it. I did miss some parts, so I'm just going to select those. And then there you have it. Let's do a short edit here where we have multiple people. And here I can just, I'll click, let's see, I'll click her. And yes, let's, let's do just her. I'll do a create mask. And with her, let's say we want to take the highlights a little bit down because she's too bright. And then we can go to create a new mask and pick select people. And now maybe we want to work on him. And maybe with him, we want to work on his, let's say we want to work just on his hair. So I'm going to select that, create mask. And maybe we want to brighten his hair. So we'll, re, you know, up the shadows. We'll make him look more blonde. There you go. Maybe even add some warmth into it. Add some highlights. And something like that. It's not, that's not the best edit on him, by the way, but we'll just pretend we want to do that. And let's say we want to blur the background a little bit. So now we can select the background and we can take down the exposure. We can take the texture and the clarity down. And there we go. We blur the background. This is our before. This is our after. So this was just a quick tutorial to show you what is new in Lightroom Classic 2023. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.